Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. So recently, we went over to Target to do a little bit of pop hunting. And while we were there, we did run into some new stuff, but also some of the retro series Star Wars figures. And I was able to pick up most of them and I needed this one for my collection, the Ben Kenobi one. So now we were able to complete our entire set. So today, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at all four of those brand new retro Star Wars figures, checking them out. I think these ones are really awesome, and I can imagine they can do a whole lot more of these. And this is the second wave of the retro Star Wars ones. They're actually based on the Marvel comics that they did for Star Wars, which is actually super cool. Makes them a little bit different than the movies with a little bit different shading and coloring and everything like that. I think they are definitely really awesome in this way takes it up a whole nother notch compared to the first one. And I was actually able to find the first pop of these back right around, I think it was for Black Friday, I found it at Target in another area and I was not expecting them to hit stores and then like every week I started to find another one and another one and another one until a month later, my collection is finally complete with these four. But the first one that we ended up finding at that one target was this R2-D2. I really do like this one as well. You might have seen this if you watched our Black Friday Funko hunt. But you didn't quite get an up-close personal look at this figure like we're going to do today. But this one is definitely an awesome R2. One of the things I can just admire about this is the box. So if you actually go ahead and take a look on the side, they kind of have that black and, uh, you know, yellow colors and everything and that great background, you know, just like they do with the original ones. But if you look at the back here, it looks like they're actually showing the comic book cover for what this figure is based on. And it looks like this one here is supposed to be the fate of Luke Skywalker where R2 and C-3PO are helping out Luke fighting like a giant space serpent. That actually looks super, super cool. And the figure itself looks just like he does in that comic. But of course, they had to popify him a little bit more. So his head is not as domed as he is in that comic. But definitely still an awesome one. And I just love how all of his panels are shaded a little bit differently. With some being that darker blue. Some being more of a turquoise color. And then, of course, the whites in there as well. And I love the paneling. Just the sketching and everything looks really, really great. And especially with, like, his eye that he has on, too. Kind of looks like he has a little bit of a big eye bulb with a little bit of that white reflection coming off of it. That is absolutely awesome. This is definitely one of my favorite R2 figures. And then the second figure from this wave we were able to pick up in store was this Chewbacca. And I think I might have gotten this a couple weeks ago, I want to say. But this was definitely another awesome one. Just a ton of detail on this Chewbacca. I just love the way it is colored. And then again, the back of it is also another comic book cover. This one is called the Deadly Reunion. So you have like Chewie with R2, C3PO, and Luke. And Chewie looks like a madman. Like he's going all out, punching Luke and everything. Maybe going after R2 definitely a fun one and then the figure itself though is very similar to some other chewbacca figures but definitely looks a whole lot different just because of the color shading like they do into different comic books and the way they just add a little bit more depth and detail to him with kind of like the black color within his fur really does look awesome and then he is holding his bowcaster as well and then he has his satchel on too I really do like this one, and he actually is snarling a little bit as well, showing his teeth like he is a little bit mad, just like in the comic. And then the next one we ended up picking up in stores was this Emperor Palpatine, which I absolutely love as well. I think this one's super cool. Actually, now thinking about it, did I get this the same time as R2? I think I might have, so I might have switched the uh, order that I ended up picking these up in. But I might have gotten this same time as I got R2. But I really do like this one as well. Emperor Palpatine using some of his powers. And it looks like this one is actually based off of a Return of the Jedi comic adaption. So an adaption of the movie, but looking a little bit different. I think this is one of the more detailed, you know, Emperor Palpatine figures, especially based on the original trilogy. Because a lot of the older ones we've gotten 
definitely don't have the level of detail, especially with the cloak and everything and with him using his powers. It's just kind of with his old sickly looking self. But this one, definitely an awesome update. And with the detail, you can definitely see like all the wrinkles and like the jowls on his face going down to his neck. That's all awesome. And the way that they have the shading with the black kind of looking like the shadow hanging over his face from the hood. That's pretty sick. And then even look at that hood with the detail on that. The way that you can kind of see it folding over like his wrinkles in the cape. That's just awesome. And then he is using his lightning powers with a little bit of orange. Not what you'd see in the movies. I think they were in the original trilogy a little bit more blue. But in the comic they have them be orange. So definitely super cool. And then our final figure. The one that we just picked up on that last Funko hunt is going to be Ben Kenobi. And I think this one's definitely my favorite out of all four and absolutely my favorite out of all eight of the Star Wars uh, retro comics figures they have put out so far. And if you are wondering, this one's actually based on a Star Wars comic that is Ben Kenobi fights alone, silent drifting. So it looks like he's got some other people there as well. And I think C-3PO is in the back. No, that's just another droid. But it looks like everyone's kind of pulling out weapons on him. And of course, he's going to take them all out. That is an awesome comic book cover. And then we have the figure looking just as amazing. I love how they made him that older Ben Kenobi. And he has a purple robe on, which we have never seen from him before in any other medium. So that is actually super cool. And his lightsaber is actually purple as well. So that's actually super cool. I love the beard and the hair with that white and just a little bit of the black lining to give it a little bit more detail as well. He has a great stance. He has a great stance the way that he's holding the lightsaber and everything. And even the lightsaber hilt is actually blue, which is interesting enough as well. It's just some awesome colors that are really unique. Well, guys, there's our look at the brand new Star Wars Retro Comics Funko Pops. Really love all of these. Like I said, Ben Kenobi is absolutely my favorite but i think these ones are really awesome i would love to see them make more of this line maybe see a mandalorian or maybe see like boba fett i know boba fett has a lot of older comics as well just go back get some of these other characters that were in the comics make new and different figures of them instead of making the same chewbacca a bunch of times like they normally do doing it like this definitely makes it a whole lot cooler but i also do want to hear from you guys what do you think about this wave of the retro comic star wars figures do you guys plan on picking up do you have you gotten any yet from your local target let me know what your guys thoughts are in the comments down below and of course if you guys have not done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button also leave a like in this video as well if you enjoyed it and of course you can always hit that notification bell to be notified whenever we have new videos drop also make sure you check out the description below we got links to our social media and then also a couple coupon codes for you if you actually use our code that's in the description for vaulted vinyl you can get 10 percent off your purchase of vaulted vinyl that's where we get our preferred funko pop protectors of choice so use our code 10 percent off it's that easy and then you can also use our link for whatnot which is a great app for you to buy and sell your own collectibles and you can get a ton of different Funko Pops on there from newer pops to grails, vaulted, all different kinds of stuff. So if you actually use our link in the description, sign up for an account, you get $15 off your first purchase. That's practically a free Funko Pop. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.